Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe we have the Grendel Prime release, meaning we're going to go over how to farm Grendel Prime. So sit back and let's take a look. As always, you can very easily check which Warframe you need to farm up by going to the Arcane area and searching Grendel, right? So this is how you know where to farm Grendel Prime. You can easily search. So we have Lith G8. Lith G8 will farm up the Grendel Prime Blueprint as a rare drop. Luckily, if it's it's a Lith, so it's one of the easier things to farm. Can't be mad at that, okay? So Grendel Prime on Lith G8. Grendel Prime Blueprints as rare. We have Meso D8 for Grendel Prime Neuroptics Blueprint, and that is a common drop. So you're probably very quickly going to farm up Grendel Prime Neuroptics off Meso B8. Then we have Neo S18. That will be for the Grendel Prime chassis blueprint, okay? And that'll it'll all drop at the usual areas we'll talk about there. So this one, Grendel Prime chassis at Uncommon's not too bad, especially for a Neo because they kind of farm together with Meso. So honestly, this is a very good one as well. And then lastly, we have Axi G11, which of course is going to be the Grendel Prime systems blueprint as the rare drop, the hardest uh, possible one to farm, Axi G11. And then if we take a look at the Zylock Prime, we can see that Lith R4 is the Zylock Prime receiver, Neo Z10 is the Zylock Prime blueprint, and Axi L6 is the Zylock Prime barrel, in case you needed to know that. And the Masseter, I think this is how you spell it, yes, Masseter, Masseter, is over here with the to do Lith C10 being Masseter Prime handle. Meso M4 being the Meseter Prime Blade, and then Axie G12 being the Meseter Prime Blueprint. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. So, now you're probably wondering, what's the best way to farm these? So, Lith is the easiest low-level thing to farm. Easiest way to farm this thing is going to the Void and running the low-level farming missions like Hepit. Uh, Lith G8 is always best to farm up just over in the Void because the Void guarantees a Relic drop chance over on Hepit because it is a fast capture. So this is always, IMO, the best place to get Lith Relics, whereas there is the other one, Ukko. This is a capture where you can get Neo and Meso. So Ukko is the best place to generally get Neo and Meso Relics. And Hepit is generally the best place to get Lith. I can't remember if it can get Lith and Meso or just Lith, but either way, Lith for here, Neo and Meso for here primarily, right? The Void's a great place, 100% chance to, draw, to drop any sort of Prime Relic. Not any Prime Relic, all the ones in rotation, but it guarantees you a Prime Relic, meaning that everything's a lot easier. To farm up fast, fast Axie Relics, I would always recommend, and I think everyone would still always recommend, Lua Apollo. You can get an Axie Relic within the first drop rotation. If you have a good min-max team, everyone can do these missions in under five minutes of rotation easily, so Apollo has always been good. But I will also say this, running lower level disruptions is also very good if you need to farm up Neo Relic. So if you're maybe not having fun farming up Ukko for the Neo Relic, maybe run some lower level disruptions to try and get things from there. Now, if we go and look back at Grendel, I'm just gonna say this, Lith Relics, they drop from everything, all the low level missions, bounties, etc. Always great. Bounties are really good to get relics. I just seem to get a lot of relic drops whenever I run stuff like Cetus Bounties, so it's always worth it. As well as just buying the relics from the shops, such as your main san standing syndicate shops, they're great. All of your open world syndicate shops, I would also recommend using those to buy all of these relics, right? The new, st uh, new Steel Path of Honors, buy relic packs. The New War, relic packs. Arcwing, relic packs, right? Relic pack, relic pack, relic pack. You can get them anywhere. You know, there's no Arcwing New War, but relic packs. So that's what I would recommend for all of these. Buy a bunch of relic packs from all of your open worlds and all of your non-open worlds, and then just spend it. People used to love going to Draco a lot, so that was a pretty good place to get random stuff, but people don't go there anymore. Sanctuary Onslaught, ESO, those are still great places to casually farm up some relics if you like doing that. But if not, the meta is always gonna be 
go to the void and do the capture missions for your Lith, your Meso, and your Neo, and then run Lua Apollo for your Axie, and always purchase the Relic Packs, Steel Path Honor Packs. That is currently the meta for farming up any of these relics. Bounties are also good. If I just take off my face cam, like the Axies, they all drop off Cetus Bounties, so they're just really good. People like Hydran on Sedna, so if you want to farm that mission to like level stuff up and just get some paths of relics and stuff like that, you can do that. That's the thing about relic farming. Apart from all the meta places, you can go wherever you feel like. Ooh, look at that. His little horn like clips through the Axie relic. This looks really cool. I never noticed this before. Sorry. But yeah, that is how you farm up Grendel Prime and all of his weapons. The farming method for all Axie, like the relics, it stays the same, so these videos are generally pretty simple. Hopefully that helped. If it did, sub, like, favorite, check out all the social medias, Epic Games, Creator Code, Pupsker. There's just so many social medias, so thank you. Yeah.